Good morning. It is Friday, January 12th, and I am continuing my Plan As You Go series, which is uh, an entire month of me showing how I use my bullet journal and my Erin Condren planner daily in tandem. I'm still feeling like crap, you guys. Imagine a old rag that was used to wash a filthy car and then not really wrung out all that much and then left in the street because you forgot to pick it up and then it kind of dried in the sun but was all stiff and like gross and then a car ran over it and then it rained on it and then somebody went and found it and was like ugh and threw it in the trash. That's kind of how I'm feeling. That's very visual but I'm just, I'm feeling very wrung out and run down right now. Yesterday I felt better in the morning and then throughout the day it just got worse and worse and so I'm feeling not so hot right now and I really hope my trajectory today doesn't suck. I'm just sort of aimlessly flipping through my planners here. Here's my bullet journal for yesterday. I did get a lot of shit done. My church shit actually took longer than I expected because I didn't wind up going to this meeting last night which meant that I wound up spending a bunch of time putting together all the things that I needed to send to the person running the meeting so that she had all my info. It was a big old long email and I felt very proud of myself for being so adult. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go into my bullet journal and do my challenges for today. We're gonna do some do some things. Going to my year in pixels last night, unfortunately was another painkiller night. One of the things that sucks about feeling generally shitty and feeling kind of pukey and coughing a whole bunch and everything else is that it kind of jostles my kidneys and that just sucks. So I don't like seeing this. This is a lot more brown than I would have hoped, but I'm hoping that as we move forward, I'll be able to debrownify my urine pixels a little bit. Actually, I can check something off of here. Yeah, I love checking things off, even if it's just one thing. Habits. I got up on time today, partly because my husband had to leave early and he was like, if you don't get up on time today, I'm gonna be very upset. The nice part about feeling crappy though is it gives me plenty of time to read. One thing I will add is I'm filling this Instagram stuff in and I've actually already done Instagram and stories for today. If you're watching this the day it goes live, so Friday the 12th, you can head on over to the Day Designers Instagram account. They make the Day Designer you know, planner, That's that, that would be them. I'm actually taking over their Instagram feed today, which is really cool and I'm excited to do that. Yesterday I was grateful very much for the cashmere blanket that my sister gave us for Christmas because Loki thinks that thing is the greatest thing on the planet. I spent a lot of yesterday with my laptop snuggled up underneath this cashmere blanket on my bed. The cat was on my legs because, you know, both the warmth and the cashmere and I got a little bit of work done even when I was feeling like garbage. So that cashmere blanket, thank you to my sister Amy for giving us such a lovely gift. It was so cute. Dude, I'm still looking at my wooden shoes that look like, when I first saw them, my first thought was, ooh, you drew avocados. No, they're wooden shoes, Cindy. Today's oh so cute doodle challenge is poncho. Damn it. There's my poncho or my flying bat, however you wanna put it. I feel like this month's Oh So Cute Doodles Challenge, I am like phoning in so much of it and whatever. That's just how it is, Earth. I guess we're going through all the planets. I'm gonna draw Earth right here. I'm kind of liking how the planets are starting to cluster around the sun. Most of this yesterday, this big church chunk and this big work chunk were done from my bed, full disclosure. And then after this, we snuggled we tried to watch a movie didn't wind up watching it all the way through last night because it was a wee bit scary and we realized that watching a scary movie with my kids who really want to watch scary movies but i think they would prefer to watch them during the day i didn't sleep very well last night partly why i'm so twitchy right now i guess I got some work done on these priorities yesterday, but I didn't finish any of them. My letter for t my word, oh God, this is where things are starting to get a little hairy. Today's word is poly, polysyllabic, polysyllabically, polysyllabically, poly, po fuck, I can't say it. I'm gonna write this shit down. So many random pens floating around my desk. So I don't like misspell it. Law. I had a friend who was doing CrossFit and she would come to work every day looking like she wanted to die. And I would be like, well, you know, you did that to yourself. You paid for that. Now I feel like she's telling me deep down inside, well, you, you did this to yourself, Cindy. <laughs> so suck it up, buttercup. This is probably gonna have to be cursive. I don't think anything else is gonna fit on this line except for cursive.
I was trying to do the L's this way because sometimes I struggle with either making my L's in cursive too fancy or not fancy enough. And it's just a, it's, it's a constant, it's a constant struggle. I'm gonna grab my Erin Condren so that we can start planning some shit. Now I need to put a couple of things on the weekend and I need to get today done. So I'm gonna set that to the side. First thing I'm gonna put on here is a rescheduled sticker from Chrissy Ann Designs. And I'm just gonna slap it on top of this meeting I was supposed to have today because I just, I can't. I do have a lot of like work I need to try and fit in in the cracks today, but ultimately the big things for today are laundry. I may be helping someone with a presentation for church today. And then the kids are going tonight. So we have to get them prepared for it. My husband and I might be driving the luggage or we're gonna be getting the luggage to someone else to drive it. It depends on when all the luggage gets there. I really hope someone else drives it because I don't know if I feel good enough for that, but Thankfully he will be with me if we do have to drive it. It's a whole lot of words. I'm gonna do some layering. I've got this like little teal sticker from Chrissy Ann Designs that says to call, but I'm not actually going to be calling anybody. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take this little laundry sticker. I don't like that there. Let's try this again. Let's center this a little bit more. It's good enough for me. And then I'm going to write in the, all the laundry we need to get done today. I've got this little event sticker. It's kind of round and I'm gonna just slap it here about three o'clock. If she does come over today is when we're gonna sit down and talk about her shit. And if she doesn't, that's okay too. It depends on how I'm feeling and how, like whether I wanna give her the plague or not, but I put this little coffee date sticker down. And then I am going to let her in pack kids for mugs and then mugs is for the rest of the night. Now, when I was talking about taking down Christmas yesterday for Saturday, I had totally forgotten to write down that there is a small meetup happening for people who are going in Northern California, for people who are going to the Planners Rock situation in Palm Springs next month, which I am actually speaking at. So yes, I will be there. I need to mark in because I will be at that meetup. Unless of course, I'm still feeling so awful that I don't wanna drive out there. It like, seems like a bad idea. I grab this little happy love munchkin from Once More With Love. I think we're gonna try and take down Christmas on Sunday, but I am not gonna write that in because as I have just proven, I am no good at putting shit in. This is why I plan as I go. <laughs> That's why I do this, because I can never fucking figure out what I'm supposed to do at any given moment. Coming to my bullet journal now. Let's get this shit going so that I can go and start some laundry and then lay down for like 20 minutes because I'm starting to wipe out really hard just from sitting up straight. Oh man, that that's totally a straight line. Everybody knows that my lines are the straightest. Mine's, my lines are bigly the most straightest. <sighs> the first thing I'm gonna get entered into my bullet journal is all of the information having to do with my kids going out of town this weekend because we have to get their laundry done. They need to be at a certain place at a certain time and then there may or may not be some transportation of luggage. So just to get those all written in so that it's all in one place, because obviously I need to remind myself of that. Now the goal after school is to take my daughter to Michael's so we can pick up some flowers so that she can make some flower crowns before they leave. It depends on how good I'm feeling. I've, I've wanted to take her the last couple days and both days I haven't felt good enough to drive to Michael's. I also want to grab a couple things off of this list that I want to try and fit in as in between laundry and things I can do from my bed. So I've got my laundry listed. I've got a couple of things off of my priorities list. I'm going to try and knock out today in between all the things. I have some emails and if you're waiting on an email from me, I am so sorry. I just have not been feeling good enough to answer things and I have to reschedule that meeting. So there's my bullet journal for today with the Day Designer Takeover. Like I said, go check it out, their Instagram. I will have it pop up right about, yeah. 
go give them a like if you haven't already and blah 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 so here's my shit let's see how today goes when it comes to feeling sick i am so excited to see all your recommendations yesterday for different youtube channels things like that i'm gonna go check it out if you haven't looked at the comments from yesterday's video to go find new youtubers to follow you should go check it out i'll link it up above so what are your plans this weekend I, like i said i'm gonna hopefully if i'm not sick hang out with my patrons go to a party for planners rock and take down christmas <laughs> take down Christmas. So what are you doing this weekend? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.